What is up, y'all? It's your girl Lala, aka Lachelle, aka Shell, aka Michelle, my bell. And y'all, I almost forgot to do an intro. I'm not even gonna hold you. <laughs> I was on my morning run. And I was like, bro, where's the intro for the second part of the house tour? And I said, we ain't got one. And so I had to come here and record for y'all. As y'all can see, I already had my run. I'm getting ready to have my protein. Shout out to Canopy for the clean protein. Anywho, y'all, I hope you enjoyed the first half of the house tour. This is going to be the second half where I'll show you the foyer and upstairs, of course, because there are multiple bedrooms upstairs. And I got a little treat for y'all at the end that I'm going to show y'all. So, I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the bottom in the comments. I said in the bottom. See, that's how y'all should know I'm discombobulated from this run, honey. I can't even talk. Let me know how y'all feel down in the comments. Drop a house if you with the house tours. Drop a heart if you love you some me because I love me some y'all. And if you feeling both, drop both of them. Both of them. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's get into the tour. Okay, y'all, so now we're moving into the foyer or the front entrance, whatever y'all call it. Nothing to see here. Until you see what I've done with the place. Yes, first things first. You like shell. Halloween decoration? Really? Halloween is my favorite part of fall. Absolutely. Look at Betty McBatterson. Cute. One thing I want to tell y'all is take advantage of those 60 linden sale. I'll just be buying random home decors that I have no idea what I'm going to do with them until I'm put in a room and I have a vision. And that's really what happened. Like this set right here. Okay, so these are different pieces from multiple sets. But the table, the, the vine in the back, the carpet, like all of this stuff, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. Even the food, right? Even, even the, the desserts. I had no idea what I wanted to do with any of this stuff. I saw it at 60 Linden sales, because it's more than one set. I saw them and I said, I'm just gonna buy them. And then I came and put this house together and I was like, oh, I remember I bought this, I remember I bought that. So even if you're not a big decor girly, when you see things that you like, if it's on the 60 Linden sale, baby, just buy it, okay? I got all of this stuff literally from the 60 Linden sale. Okay, okay, let's go upstairs, cause true. <laughs> so upstairs is where all the other bedrooms are like me the kids and my office so this is the office and how it started out and this is what it looks like I <laughs> know green is not my favorite color but for some reason I was really attracted to an earthy look so here's my desk too much and a minor upgrade for my gamer desk we're getting a little more serious in the office youtube plaques i love this waterfall decoration it's just tranquil don't forget if you don't do anything else but follow your girl on cake because what are y'all waiting for give me the 75 followers okay so yeah y'all Here's the office. I put astral turf on the floor. I don't know. I just wanted to come in here and I know I say touch grass a lot on my social media, but this is how I wanted to be able to touch grass when the weather gets cold. So this is like my little spring getaway. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. This is the office. I think it's very cute. Again, green, green, green was just speaking to me. So that's what I went with. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's move on to the master bedroom, aka my room which is right down the hall from the master bedroom because let's say your girl be grinding so this is the master bedroom notice that it doesn't have any lights any carpet or anything like that i do love that it has a balcony okay because sometimes i be needing a break from them kids i love them but i really be needing a break <laughs> i figured i'd show y'all everything together so here's the wardrobe for the master bedroom and then the bathroom, which as you can see, or if you can tell, leads right out into the hallway. So here's what it looks like before I put my hands on it. And here's what it looks like after getting to the carpet, because we're not doing wood floors. I put lights up in the ceiling, because I don't know why they wanted me in the dark so bad, okay. And then my bed, I customize it. I love my sheets, y'all. 
and then y'all favorite clock that y'all mention every time I vlog. <laughs> now listen, we got to have a fan and it gotta have a little dust on it so I know it's real, okay? If you're not sleeping with a fan, what is you doing? We got our fur rug. Y'all look at my view, like just look, okay? Get to look right out into nature. I might give y'all a better look a little bit later. And then this is my wardrobe. Baby, do y'all see all my shoes? Now, listen. Some of these, maybe I did borrow them from my sister, Juliana. But who knows? Sis, if you're looking at this, don't count my pockets. You don't know if these are your shoes, okay? <laughs> then I put up my little closet. I did an open concept type closet this time versus one with a bunch of doors and stuff like that on it. I don't know. I just feel like it went better with the wardrobe. All right. But I'm not going to hold y'all. I do got some clothes hidden somewhere else. Judge yourself. I told myself I was going to practice minimalism and then just didn't. <laughs> I love my curtains, y'all. I got them from Backbone. Now, I have them in white, but you can get them in just about any color. So, cute. And then my accessories are here. I got my hair hats, a.k.a. my wigs. My little bust downs, okay? We got the 12 inch, the 10 inch, the 14 inch, the 16 inch, the 8 inch bust down. I got my lipstick up there because you know we got to keep a cute lip. Braided hair because you know sometimes we bald head, small head. <laughs> got our vanity with all of my tools. Listen, it's the bedazzle hair tools for me. I got my lace tint, my wig spray, my weave, my furry chair. Okay, my wig glue, my gel, my jewelry, my perfume, because you know we got to have one of those smell boys. And then I have my polish up there. And then, now I ain't no cosmetologist, y'all, but I love this little cart, honey. Because one thing I'm going to do if I'm driving is travel with it. And of course, I got the fan in here because I can't be laying my bus down and then sweating it back off before I even leave the wardrobe. Because baby, what? Yeah, fan on go. All time. And then my hat boxes and my mannequin. So that's the wardrobe. And then the bathroom. Hey. So we got the toilet sitting on the toilet. What? Sitting on the toilet. How many of y'all remember that? I got my Yoni steamer. Yes, we do. Is it true? Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Y'all, when I tell you this tub gives me everything I need in life. I got my incense lit because I ain't even going to hold y'all before I started filming. I had to use the bathroom. So it's smelling right and tight in here. <laughs> got my radio. Um, I had me a little sip of wine last night. Don't worry about what I do in my life. Okay. Hands down, still the best shower. NSL. Okay. Need I stay more from six. And then I got my trash can. My sink. And I got candles burning up there. Because when I tell y'all I lit this bathroom up, I lit it up. We got our Play-Doh Twisted Cream for our hair. Okay? Because I might be a little bald head, small head. But I got a few strands of hair. And I know that Play-Doh grew my hair back last time. So I figured it could help me with my edges and whatnot. Got my toothbrush over there. My travel pack because I just got back. Okay. Now, y'all. We got to have our products in here. Okay. Beauty products. Because we beautiful out here. <laughs> got my honey pot up there. Got some more of my Play-Doh products. Y'all see it. Y'all see the style of gel. Period. So that's just like my hair care, feminine care. I got my essentials up there. Which y'all know I'm always going to have essentials on deck. I don't know. Let me see. Let me back up. See if y'all can see it. Over there in the corner. Post it on the corner. <laughs> like Red say. I got my, my pain pills up there, the tamps up there, uh, my wipes up there. Because, you know, sometimes when you got to go, you got to go. But that's it, y'all. That's the master bedroom, bathroom, and wardrobe. You know what? Let me show y'all this view real quick. And this is the view, family. I get to look at the animals, the bugs, and whatever else is outside. And the fact that I left the gate open because I'm clearly tripping. Okay. But yeah, so this is what I get to step out into every morning, and I'm not going to hold y'all. This is how I start my day, stepping out, looking at this beautiful view. Okay, hashtag blessed out here.
But okay, let's go inside because I still got some more room to show you. So yeah, y'all, now we headed to the baby's room. As you can see, you can see the family room over that banister or maybe you can't. <laughs> So this is my Femi's room, Femi mama, mm-hmm. And they share a bathroom, so her and Abe's room, like that's Abe's room, you literally see on the other side, but they both have their own closets. Yeah, heavy on the own closets. Mm-hmm. And then this room is gonna be Abe's room. Again, as you can see, their bathrooms are connected, which I don't know if any of you have twins or multiple kids, but them having that that security of being connected is very important. And they have their own balcony. You might be wondering, well, Shell, are you worried about them, you know, falling off the balcony? Nah, they're at that age, y'all, where they're good. Plus, I keep the doors locked if I'm not up here with them. And by with them, I mean actively with them. But that's it, y'all. That's the upstairs. All right, y'all. So here's the kids' room. This is Femi's and my niece's room. Yes, they share a room. Yes, I love it. This is a unicorn <laughs> friendly room. I really think this light is super cute, but yeah. It's pink and purple everywhere. We believe in representation, period. Super cute. I won't go into her closet or their closet because it's a mess. And then we have the bathroom that the kids share. Remember I told y'all? The, they have an adjoining bathroom, which they literally sleep with the bathroom door open because they're twins and you know how twins do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then this is Abe, the babe's room. He doesn't have another cousin to share his room with yet, but this is his room. He in here living his best little boy life. As y'all can see, this is a complete contrast. <laughs> than his room at the last house, but he loves it. Sometimes his cousin comes in here and sleeps with him, so he's cool with it. Again, not showing you the closets because it's a mess. And that's my fault because the kids haven't been home. So it's a mess because I haven't unpacked it. And that's it, y'all. I still have to decorate the kids' patio. I don't want to do too much because I just don't want to tempt them to go outside. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want them outside. This is their view. Isn't this nice? I don't want them outside um without me so i don't want to give them any temptation for them to want to go outside but that's it y'all that is upstairs and so now and so now now <laughs> it's time for the treat i told y'all i had oh michelle had a farm yeah yeah So this is another place I go running. Uh, the space is much more open than what's around my house. Um, here are my banana trees. Yes, these are my story plants, if you're wondering. Here's my well. Look at my well while I get my water. Give me some water, baby. I got my cows who just so happen to be grazing at the moment. Hey, y'all. We got Bertha. Hal, Andrew, Shanice, you know. And then this is my apple tree. Yes, it's a, a My Story apple tree. Boop. Because one thing we're going to use are those discreet boxes, period. I want to show y'all this. I don't know if y'all can see from a distance. I want to show y'all that after I finish with the farm. So, y'all hear the bees over there? Yes, I have bees. Because I need my honey. We got our scrawberries down here. I'm gonna have to freeze them because you know strawberry season is coming to an end. I put this wood board down here because we had some issues with animals digging. So until I get that figured out, that board is there blocking them. There's my chair because I got to relax. Okay, we got our vegetables over here. Look at our cherry tomatoes, period. And that's facts, no printer, cold shell, turn the summer to the winter. <laughs> we got our grapevine, cause we heard it through the grapevine. That y'all know I like to drink my wine. Honey, honey, honey. And also sell wine at Sister Supermarket, where you need to be for all your My Story needs. Shameless plug. Look, Bertha with the confirmation, period. 
And here is... Okay, Henry, now you know you wasn't even supposed to be out. Get up out people way. I picked some potatoes earlier today. Y'all, this is hours after y'all saw me. I know y'all probably like, you just got off a run, baby. This is hours later. Um, we got some more vegetables over here. I can't remember the name of those because it escapes me. We got our own your owns, okay? We got Jenny the Scarecrow, but as you can see, she ain't too scary because there's literally a crow on top of her head. Child. We got another apple tree, our sunflowers. Y'all know I love me a sunflower, okay? I think it's the yellow that draws me. A lot of beautiful flowers out here, and I'm not going to hold y'all. I didn't intentionally plant them. They just grow naturally. We got Harry the cat. He's not my cat, but he never leaves, so. He might be the one digging up my stuff. And we have our little flower pots of love where we've done our herbal type experiments so worry about yourself we have little flowers i'm trying to so this is my greenhouse y'all that i i'm trying to make it to where i can still grow a lot of my herbs and flowers even when it gets cold so i wanted to start now um i still got to get my heat lamps because as y'all can see i don't have any right now i'm just using the regular heat but here's my potting soil i'm still trying to get heat lamps because i still want to be able, like I said, to plant my stuff when it's cold. Because I eat what I harvest. So if I'm not growing anything, I got to depend on the stuff I froze. So, hi, Benny. This is my rabbit. Not my rabbit that I raise or anything. He just never leaves my garden because clearly he's stealing food. We got pumpkins, Halloween, and then more cherry tomatoes. Um, let me show y'all my vegetables that I've already harvested this year. Um, I tried to, not force, but I tried to do some out of season, season harvest and we'll see how the vegetables taste. So as y'all can see, I got a little bit of everything over here. I got lettuce, I got peaches, I got, uh, what is that? Radish. Um, now these, I'm not gonna lie, I got from the farmer's market. So I did not grow these pineapples and stuff like that. I got them from the, from the farmer's market and the sweet peppers I got from ABG. So there's that. Why did I go outside to get honey? Cause so this is our my manure and dirt mix. Listen, when you farming, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, we got a little, few weeds around here. Here's our beehive, one of many, and then we have our others. So this is one that was even though I built it, the bees did their thing naturally. These other ones were like pre-made from a farmer's market, but they still harvest a lot of honey, so I like it. Here's my water pump. I know I have a well, but sometimes I just want to come to the pump, you know. And then my birdhouse. Hi, babies. Okay, they looking at me like they're going to peck my face off, so I'm going to go. There's my compost, because you know we natural out here. And I don't know if y'all know this. I have flowers outside of my greenhouse. Um, yeah. And another chair, because we're going to sit out here and relax. Okay. My brother be coming over sometimes, so he sits with me, but, and my sister. Look at this. Scarecrow, worst scarecrow ever. Crows everywhere, okay? But let me take y'all to my little paradise that I wanted to show y'all. Like, I have regular running paths, and that's what I do use when I do my exercise. See? So it's a natural running path, and I have a lot of beautiful flowers out here. Again, when I bought this land, I just kind of let everything grow naturally. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... And I just tried to nourish what was there. Then I have, look at this, hi. And she, she has eggs. Hi, Miss Mamas. I'm going to leave her alone. She's clearly protected. It's a whole butterfly over here. Okay, and this is my little oasis, y'all. Isn't this gorgeous? I'm not going to lie to y'all. I do have to pay a crew to come out and keep this up because this is not my lane. I'm a farm girly. But look. I have a bridge like if I had somebody I was with this would be so romantic I got my ducks my swans I haven't found a turtle yet but you see look at this just a beautiful view of the river honey and I ain't got nobody to share it with but my family and my kids but it's not like my family ain't dope I'm just telling y'all look again a lot of this stuff was already on the land when I bought it and I just had to find somebody to upkeep it for me isn't this so pretty? Like, look. Y'all. 
I don't bother the animals that are out here because this is their oasis. And look at this. Like, it makes me wonder if a couple who was in love bought this place. And I just didn't want to get rid of it. I haven't been out on the boat yet, but I plan to. Um, yeah. I mean, you don't have to have a partner to do these things with you, but I won't pretend that it wouldn't be nice. I just can't, you know, people get on my nerves. I can't, <laughs> I can't get past like two weeks before I'm over it. So, yeah, y'all. All right, y'all. So, this is the end of the tour. Miss Loretta, I think I'm ready for the tour. <laughs> you know, you know. Listen, I want to thank y'all so, so much for watching and rocking with me. One thing life has taught me is like a flower, I need to be where I am watered. I am going to choose love and peace over everyone at all times. With that being said, I want to send a special thank you to my family. My mama, Milana, my sis, Luliana, my brothers. Curtis and Twan. Like I know I give y'all a hard time and I troll y'all, but make no mistake about it. Y'all mean the absolute world to me. For someone who has found it hard to trust because people seem to find enjoyment <laughs> in crossing me, I want you all to know. Oh, and my Auntie Nisi. Sorry, Auntie Nisi. And my Auntie Nisi, y'all are the family I never knew I needed. You know what I mean? For the longest in my life, I felt like being a loner was the best solution. Thank you for making me feel safe enough to trust you. I hope I have created that same environment for you all. The way y'all love on me is a love that I didn't even knew existed. The way y'all support me is support that I've never felt before. The peace y'all bring me. If it would any more be any more peaceful, it would be coming straight from God himself. So I feel like God sent y'all to me. And I pray that I make you all feel the same way. I love y'all. Shout out to my fan bam. Whether you fan bam on YouTube, on Kick, <laughs> on Twitch, or wherever you are. I love all of y'all. Go where you are loved. Stay where there is peace. And I pray that you find all that you need. Peace, y'all. I'm out.